in this video we will go through performing a local network scan and we will be using nmap which is a network scanner it's an open source network scanner and it's widely used there are many other products in the market which actually use nmap in the backend so it's a very important tool to learn uh, in terms of network security so coming to the agenda of this video we will be performing a local interface scan first and that we will identify the local interface on this particular server ubuntu server and we will be performing a local interface scan to see which ports are open uh, we will then scan using an ip address which will give us more details uh, we will scan against multiple hosts scan against a subnet we will scan for the os related information the trace route information and we will be scanning to determine a particular version of information so before we get started um, in order to know whether the nmap is installed on your uh, on your computer or not you can use nmap hyphen version and this will tell you the version of nmap that you are running on your system so in this case you are running um, 7.6.0 that's the version of nmap that you are running and in case if you do not have nmap you can use uh, app get install and uh, just type nmap and it will install it so before doing this uh, it's better you get the cache uh, latest cache updated on the app get sudo app get update and then you can run this particular command to get the nmap installed so before we go and run the nmap commands let's understand what nmap is in detail so nmap which stands for network mapper it's a fundamental network analysis and mapping tool that's widely used it's an open source tool used in both system discovery as well as security auditing interesting thing is the way nmap uses raw ip packets and it determines what hosts are available on the network what services are running on those hosts you will be able to scan for detailed operating system information including uh, you know other routes that uh, your network takes so such as your packet filters your firewalls everything can be discovered using the network mapper so let's first do one thing let's uh, display the network interfaces and routes that are configured for this particular Ubuntu server. And to do that, I'm going to use a command called nmap and it's interface list or if list. And what this does is basically it will display the network interfaces that were used and um, as well as uh, the routes which uh, it takes. So the most interesting thing is the uh, interface of uh, ethernet zero. And this is a subnet where we are um, hosting our servers in. And th these two are the loopback addresses and this is for the Docker. So you can ignore them. So this will give you uh, the complete layout uh, of your network. It will understand, it will give you an understanding of the network layout uh, on your particular system. Now let's get some more details. Now what we'll do is we'll run a network scan against the subnet which will be 192.168.0.3 slash 24. And what we're going to do is we are going to run this with SN flag. SN basically says that not to perform a port scan after host discovery. So let's do that. And in order to do, let's clear the screen. And um, when you're using SN in, in the flags, we need not do sudo to perform the scan this is a very basic scan it's going to this uh, subnet cider block it is scanning for the uh, any interfaces that are responding and it will tell you how many hosts it discovered so to do that let's do nmap hyphen sn and the ip range 192 i think I am sorry, I forgot the IP address range. So let's go back. So, yep, nmap sn 
0.3 slash 24. So what uh, it's happening is it's trying to discover the hosts that are inside our network and it discovered five different hosts in total under that particular subnet cider which are like uh, you don't get much in much information you get um, uh, only the mac address and what what is that software like mac address mac address and all this is a very um uh, basic information that we got using the SN scan and this is a very basic scan too so now let's get into some more complex scans now we will run a tcp sin scan this is the default scan type it's very quick it can it can scan for thousands of ports on your system and it does everything in a stealth mode uh, basically what it happens is basically uh, a tcp sin scan uh, sends a sin packet waits for the response and based on the response for example if it is sin ack which is acknowledge it, it considers that the port is open. If it receives a SYN reset, it is said to be the port is closed. So it does entire process in a stealthy way, which means that it does not do a TCP connection. It pretends to act like there is a new traffic that's coming to your server. So that's how it gathers the information. And to do that, uh, let's first uh, grab this uh, CIDR block before I forget. Perfect. Let's clear the screen. And the way we are doing the scan, you require to give a pseudo permission because this is like a, a bit in depth scanning that happens and requires certain privileges to execute it. So basically, I'm going to use pseudo nmap and the flags I'm going to use is a small s and the capital S and, and the IP address range. which is 192.168. Um, sorry. So got the IP address range. And now when you're performing the scan on the entire side of block, please remember, this is going to take a long time to get the results because it's going to the entire side of block, identifying the five hosts that we identified and it's going to run it. So this is going to take a, a bit of time. So let's run it. On the back end, what it is doing right now is it's sending the SYN packets, waiting for a response. It receives those responses, whether it is SYN ACK or SYN RESET, and it will tell you the list of the hosts and what ports are open and which service is using that port and you get a lot of ton of other information. So the total time it took is like 205 seconds to scan these five hosts. Basically it scanned 256 IP addresses in which it found five hosts and the scan really took 205.24 seconds. So what we found is um, all the machines and what ports are open and what service is using that port. So for example, let's consider 192.168.0.3, which is our Ubuntu system. Uh, basically, there are two ports open. One is uh, port 22, which is used by Secure Shell, port 80, and that is used by HTTP. Now, let's see if you want to get more information on this particular one. So 0 0.3, so what we're going to do is uh, run a scan against uh, the version system. So to know which version in order, um, is it about. So in order to do that, what I'm going to use are options uh, SV flags and nmap SV and the IP address, which is 192.168.0.3. So this will tell you, for example, HTTP is running on Apache server. It will tell you the version of Apache. If it's running OpenSSH, it will tell you which version of OpenSSH it's using. So you will be able to probe for the service level version information using uh, SV um, flags under Nmap. So if I do that, since I'm doing it for a 
particular one host, it, this will be a little bit faster. It will immediately grab the details within like uh, eight seconds. That's really good. So yes, uh, the version of SSH is OpenSSH, which is 7.6 P1. Um, and the HTTP is actually Nginx 1.14. So basically, if, if you found a certain vulnerable um, version for a particular service, probably you can use that exploit using Meta, Metasploit and you can gain access to a particular server using like this. So this is a very good um, scanning information that Nmap provides is the version names. Now you got your uh, version level service information, but what happens if you want to get an OS level information? So right now what we are going to run is uh, an Nmap scan and this is often called as TCP IP stack fingerprinting. So what Nmap does in this case is Nmap sends a set of TCP and UDP packets, a bunch of them to the target operating system. It re receives a lot of results it comprises all those results and compares with an OSDB. This is a big database which contains around 2,600 operating systems with all the fingerprints. And what Nmap does is basically it will compare the fingerprint it collected by sending these TCP UDP packets and it will compare the fingerprints with, the, with its database and it will tell you which kernel version you are running on your particular operating system. So this is a very uh, intense scan and uh, let us do that. And in order to do that, we will use uh, a flag called hyphen O uh, for the operating system. And we will provide the host name that we want to scan, which is 192.168. Okay, let me clear the screen. Nmap O. Zero dot three. So that brings in uh, the kernel level information that you are running a Linux kernel two dot six dot thirty two, and um, you have your version of um, Linux kernel that you are running. So. That's it regarding the local network scanning using Nmap. You can also do remote network scans uh, based on your network. And I hope this video is informative. Thank you very much for watching it. If you have any questions, please do let me know in the comment section and please subscribe to the channel for more videos. Until the next video, happy learning and bye-bye.